Hi everyone, it's MJ, the fellow actuary, and welcome to part two on getting into airdrops. So the previous video was very theoretical. We explained why there are airdrops and actually how to get into it. In this video, I just wanna talk a little bit more about it and how to extend your airdrop journey. So in the previous video, we spoke about this airdrop club NFT, where I said how you can come and you can buy it for under $2 using MoonPay, or if you've got some wrapped ether, fantastic, you can go in and get some. And you can see we've sold, you know, we've got 60 different owners uh, with only 93 people viewing them, 60, that's quite a nice ratio. And I mean, you can come to this thing here and you can see all the sales that have been been going forward. So what happened was everybody who purchased this airdrop, we took a screenshot of all of the owners and we sent them a one of one NFT. So because I also purchased my own airdrop, this was the one that I got over here. A really, really stunning art piece by this new artist, uh, Zara Blunt Art. Well, when I say new artist, they're actually an old and established artist, but they are new to the whole NFT game. And I've been just helping them on board. You can come here and you can see all of their other pieces. Now, what was fascinating is some people got this NFT and they relisted it at $10, and we can see that it actually sold. So people who bought the airdrop for $2, they then got this unique NFT, which they listed for $10, and, and it sold. That's why I've listed my one at, you can see, $500, because I think this art is going to, is going to climb. So already people have seen times five, of course it's $2, $10, it's still pocket change, but it is the beginning of something. Now I've spoken to the artist and they're actually quite keen to do another airdrop either next month or, or sometime in the future. So make sure you do follow the artist. You can see these are some of their pieces. And by purchasing this airdrop club over here, you will be able to get these things airdrop to you. They will be one of one unique pieces. Or you can just go straight into the market and buy my one for $500. Or I think the cheapest one now is even more than $10. I think that's like around $20 or, or something like that. So like I said, part of the fun is to buy the airdrop club and get NFTs of upcoming artists who I'm helping to onboard onto the blockchain. And like I said, follow them on, on Twitter. Uh, you can see they're also South African, also here in Cape Town. And of course, you're more than welcome to, to follow me as well, which is Bayman1991. Now, what I also want to do in this video is talk a little bit more about how you can be a little bit more active in your airdrop hunting. So once you have purchased a bunch of wrapped ETH on open seas using your credit card you can come to this website over here called wallet.polygon.technology slash gas swap and this will allow you to swap some of your ethereum for matic without having to pay any gas and the reason why you want to do that is because you need matic in order to do other transactions on the polygon um, blockchain so you can either get some Matic and then set up some new addresses and use that Matic to send a little bit of Ethereum to each of these other addresses, come back here, buy more of the Airdrop Club so that you get more, more art NFTs. Or what you can start to do is you can start hunting for, for other Airdrops. Um, because like I said, when you come, and I guess this may be a little bit of the confusing part, is what we're gonna see is that there's three different types of Ethereum. So we're using Polygon, uh, chain, but you can buy Ethereum on the Polygon chain. And that's what we need in order to purchase these NFTs. You can see this is by, by the purple. Whereas the black one, that's Ethereum on the Ethereum chain. And that's what you need if you want to purchase my super rare art pieces. So you can see this one over here. But because I paid quite a lot in gas fees to mint on the Ethereum network, you can see the price is a lot higher compared to say the price of the NFTs that I'm making on Polygon because they're cheaper to mint, I can sell them at a lower price. But once you have this Polygon ETH, like I say, uh, and that you've purchased through your credit card on OpenSea, you can come here and you can convert it into some Matic and Matic will then allow you to interact on the Polygon blockchain. And why you wanna do that is because there's these lovely articles that talk about uh, airdrops. And I mean, this is from the NASDAQ, I mean, all of us should be quite familiar with that. But you come here, there's the spreadsheet link that you can get. And this is basically what I look at to see, okay, what airdrops should I go to with the hunting? So red means it's finished, green means it's live, blue means it's highly likely, um, light blue means it's possible, 
and I guess the yellow means it's non-farmable in a, in a sense. So like, I mean, if we just had to come here and just say search open seas, we'll see that there is potentially an, an airdrop available for open sea. And that's why what's nice with my $2 NFT being the cheapest NFT on open sea, it allows you to get a transaction done with your address, which could make you eligible for the open sea NFT. But I mean, if we were just to go through here, we can see that there's other websites like let's say infinity and they were like if you had made a transaction on OpenSea before october the 4th 2021 you then would have been eligible to receive their airdrop so you can see how other websites also use OpenSea as a way of giving out the airdrops same with that open dial the sos token was given to people who made purchases on open sea and that's why if you're an airdrop hunter the best thing to do is to buy a super super cheap nft even if you hate nfts just buying it it's going to expose you to these potential airdrops and like i say airdrops can range from a thousand to ten thousand um, dollars of course the super rare one was was a lot more massive but like i said between a thousand and ten thousand is is possible here we see i mean there's other ones this one's highly likely if you hold an nft but now this one they say of this specific project you'll then be able to get it but i looked at their twitter account it's quite a small project so maybe not something that i'm gonna gonna be getting into what i do recommend is when you come to this thing here is you search polygon okay so polygon what we're gonna see is like slingshot super fluid and all you need to do is make swaps you need to use the protocol you need to do small things um so yeah metamask make swaps on the ethereum polygon um, thing and i mean that's like super easy to to do i mean if we were to come here um although they, they say you should never actually show your this stuff on on it but i mean if we were just to come and click swap although i've got a transaction pending there which means it's not going to go through but you could come over here you could type in whatever you wanted to swap. You can then, you know, choose whatever token you wanted to get. You can choose your slipperage. 3% should be fine. You can then review it and then you can click swap. And then just by doing that, I mean, and or what I'd even recommend because, I mean, let's go back and edit is, I mean, even if you just go 0 0.0001, you know, you do like 34 cents, like a, a micro transaction, you could become eligible for this this airdrop which we're seeing here metamask over here make swaps on eth polygon or the binance chain some airdrops do look at the volume and of course then i mean what you can do is have a hundred matic and do it a million times going back and forth back and forth back and forth um of course you will er erode a lot of value due to just the fees that these swaps sometimes take they're very small but it will start to erode and of course the gas fees but with polygon those gas fees are a lot lower and that's why I do recommend if you are airdrop hunting is to go after Polygon um, just because the gas fees are low because airdrops are not guaranteed. So if you're hitting Ethereum, yeah, you're paying, you know, between 20 and $100 per transaction. And if it doesn't happen, you've lost quite a bit where with Polygon, those transaction fees are like a couple of cents. And then also you can have multiple addresses and that, I guess, makes it farmable. Um, I mean, there is the Terra one as well, which, I mean, I'll show you guys. I've got the bit of the Terra, the Terra drops, but they're not, they're, they're not anything spectacular. I mean, if we come here, it might be like $2 in total. Okay, no, I'm at, what, $7 now. $7 and there's all these like very small amounts. So it's almost not worth, worth claiming at $7 because there's going to be the transaction fees. I'll maybe leave this um, a little bit yeah longer anyway um so like i said terra there are these possibilities but they're, they're very small amounts ethereum does tend to give the biggest ones but like i said there is the big risk polygon i'm expecting there to be yeah airdrops coming forward well like i said i'm using this as it's a community created spreadsheet it's not you know the greatest or, or most authoritative thing but it is a way to get into the airdropping and I mean, maybe we'll just do, I think, let me swap my account. Uh, just click cancel here. We'll go to wallet number two because this one, yeah, we don't have anything pending. Okay, yeah, so let's come on this and let's go to, what should we go to? Let's say Zappa. So Zappa is something that I've, I've liked, um, I'm quite excited for. 
we just need to go to this one over here. You can see I'm a level 10. I'm a level 10. I've synced my tokens. I've even purchased the NFT on this one. Um, I was doing these daily quests, but all you had to do in order to get these daily quests was you would just come say exchange. And like I said, we'll be saying as small as like 0 0.001. And you just choose anything. And I increase my, my slip bridge to make it big. And then you'd hit exchange. Of course, Polygon at the moment, the gas fees are are a little bit high at the moment. So they're like like seven times higher than what they would normally be. Um, normally the gas price is at 30, but I don't know, sometimes these networks do have these high congestion. So probably now is not the best time to do these airdrop hunts. Maybe wait for that gas price to come down to 30. I mean, you're looking at 30 cents versus you know a dollar, but still, when you start doing these things on scale, you do want to be mindful of all of your, your small expenses. But let me maybe close the, the MetaMask. This would be an example of, of something to, to come to. And like I said, I'm excited for, for Zappa. Um, I mean, if we click on, on quests, season two is over. January 16th, we might hear that this airdrop gets, gets done. And of course, I found out about Zappa through, I think I've got this other little thing here called earnfi.com. So this is something that I pay to, to be part of. And then it tells me what airdrops are possible. And that is somebody at my door, so let me go and address that. Uh, but yeah, you can see these are some airdrops that I'm eligible for. And but yeah, let me go answer the door and I'll end this video. But leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Cheers, everyone.